What's up, y'all? This is to put this wheel back on this uh, 2010 Chevrolet Impala, and I'll tell you what I'm not going to do. So, these are the stock nuts, stock lug nuts that came on this car. Um, as you know, or maybe you don't know, these caps, these nuts are capped. Look at this. Imagine that happening on the side of the road and all you have is the lug nut, I mean the wrench that fits this, and it comes right off. Then you're not getting your wheel off, okay? So this could happen to any of these. All right, this is a 2010. They've done this to a lot of vehicles, okay? So I don't know if what, if that's just a throughout thing. All different kinds of companies do it. Um, you know, you can buy aftermarket uh, lug nuts that are like this. See, they're hollow. You can you can see the back side of that cap right there. Well, guess what? I got new nuts. My nuts are heavier. My nuts are a lot heavier than they used to be. I got some Dorman lug nuts. They are solid, and it cost me over fifty dollars to get them a full set. But well, I'll show them to you right now. Got them in O'Reilly's. Let's see. These are some Dorman lug nuts. For the 2010 Chevrolet Impala, they were $2.79 a piece. I got 20 of them, they're coming to $55.80. And I'll guarantee you I'll never have a cap come off one of those again. So let's check them out. So, check out my heavy nuts. These are not capped. These are solid. An excellent replacement for your stock lug nuts on your 2010 Chevrolet Impala. They look just like the originals, except for they're better. And these are Dorman, uh, new since 1918. Wow, that's, that's a long time. So here we are. Um, part number, size, all that kind of stuff. Um, all the info you need. I'll take a picture of it and put it at the end. But I got two boxes of these and my nuts are gonna be a lot heavier. I don't know, the car's gonna go slower. Doubt it, but um, we're gonna have some better better durability on the lug nuts. We'll know her, never have another cap fall off again. All right, and what I'm probably gonna do is, I may go ahead and put all of them on. It's not like you have to jack the car up to uh, replace them all. You just do them one at a time. And uh, take one off, put one on. Take one off, put one on. You know, jack the car up to replace your lug nuts. You can replace them yourself. Make sure you torque them to the correct torque whenever you're putting them back on. Um, or you can get some whenever you're going to take your car into the shop to have like some uh, new tires put on or have your tires rotated or something. You could um, put some new ones on then. All right, you can just have the shop, but then you can put your new ones on instead of, uh, you know, putting your old ones back on. Hey, I appreciate the time to, uh, you taking the time to watch this video. Um, I hope this helps you out and I hope you've never had any trouble with that, but if you do, it, it's bound to happen sooner or later. That car hasn't been abused. That car's got, those lug nuts came off of. They've only had a few sets of tires on them. Um, any rotating, I've probably done it. And, um, you know, I think that car's only got like 114,000 miles on it, and it's a 2010. So, um, and you see the cap's already falling off. So, that's no good. The rest of them may last another 10 years. Who knows? But not on my watch. All right, y'all. Take care. Have a good one. Thanks for watching this video. Bye. Hey, I thought you might want to see a comparison. So, uh, this is a Dorman. This one right here. And this is the original. So, um, there's only a slight difference. But it's fine with me. Okay? All right. Thank y'all. Appreciate you watching. Have a good one.